Hi, this is Alex Juhas from FemTechNet, and I'm interviewing Professor Elizabeth Losh about the keyword archive. And Liz, I'd love to know, how do we think about archives of global news that remixes material? So I think one of the challenges we have is that it used to be that database cinema was considered to be something sort of subversive, that it was this opportunity to kind of create these remixes from official sources where we could um, sort of retell official stories in new ways. The problem is that now everything is database cinema that we look at, that advertising is database cinema, that the news is database cinema, and sometimes what we have to really do is um, unmix what we're looking at and indicate where stuff actually comes from, who created it. Um, I'm a rhetoric person, so I'm interested in audiences and purposes, and I think that um, sometimes we have to think about where did the original source footage come from or the original source images come from to try to kind of uncover their history. So for example, there was an image of Sarah Palin with a bathing suit and holding a gun. And it wasn't really Sarah Palin, right? It's her head photoshopped onto this other image. But I think one of the things that we can do is kind of uncover the history of what was the original image before it was photoshopped. And how do we kind of think about the original source materials when we're thinking about digital files and new forms of communication? Well, thanks. I think that that's a nice ending. And uh, we'd like to continue the conversation. So we invite you to watch or make a video. And I would say a good one for this would be Archivist. Do you have any suggestions? Maybe Remix? Thank you.